Hey guys, it's Ken again, back with a quick question um, that can be asked um, in the UVM interview, um, which is, what is early randomization and late randomization in a UVM environment? So, what is it? Late randomization is typically the order, or both of these early and late randomization, what do you typically mean by that? It's nothing more than the order in which these three methods get called. Start item, finish item, and randomization on a transaction, for instance. So um, uh, let's go into a little bit detail. What is late randomization? Late randomization is also called just-in-time randomization. It is the preferred way because every all the variables of the test manager environment are most up to date at this point. Um, and you you basically are calling randomization just uh, when you need it, just before when you need it. And what's the usage of this? Like I mentioned, within the sequence body task, you call the start item, finish item, and the randomization call. So when you call the randomization after the start item, then that means you have already been granted permission by the sequencer so like we know um, start item is a blocking call and um, uh, the sequencer depending on the priority gives access um, to or uh, gives permission to uh, the sequences so if you call the randomization right after the start item then you ensure that when you randomize you uh, your randomization everything based on the current test bench environment so so this is the preferred way essentially early randomization on the other hand like we know the test bench environment variables are essentially going to be stale so you randomization your randomization essentially happened way ahead of time for this it's not really preferred it's and the difference is here um, you're randomizing first and then calling a blocking call and god knows when you're going to get like access to um, essentially the sequencer to run your sequence on so that is why um, as the name suggests um, early randomization is too early and should not be typically used Late randomization or just-in-time randomization should be the way to go. Alright, that's about it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.